the take on uh, Shador Sanders going into class and disrupting it? When did this happen? Yesterday. Watch this. What am I watching? Wait for sound it. Sound on, baby? Wait for Honor, it. Honor, so that's good. C has the correct answer. So let's see if I've got two. It's sodium chloride when I'm done. And in sodium chloride, I have Na plus and Cl minus in solid phase. It's just in the aqueous phase, it's Na plus and Cl minus. When I go over to solid aqueous, if anything is written aqueous, there's water around it. You gotta remember that. Because sometimes water does things for us. The equation is often referred to as the molecular form of the equation. For electrolyte and sodium chloride. Again, with the 110 and 8 plus 5 is 13. <laughs> neutral sodium. And that's not true. It's sodium ions with a plus one charge. No free two. Uh. <laughs> and give, give, and Matt, to be fair to you, I'm gonna give you context. So do yeah, I put that on you. his he put that on his YouTube channel yesterday. I don't know why. And so I, to be fair, of course, because I'm the hater, I didn't want to come in. I wanted to do research. I don't know when he did that video compared to the factor that you and I, I know you're smart enough and you're gonna bring this up. So I want to give it to you ahead of time. Dion addressed the team, of course, for bad behavior in class. So we saw that viral video. You shared it. Everybody shared it. I don't know if this was before that or after that addressing by Dion as the coach. But the fact I wanted to ask you, the, the problem I have is as a quarterback, why I wanted to ask you this before you got off. Why would you post that on your YouTube channel after the video of your father addressing the team? about bad classroom behavior. That is the problem that I have with the quarterback as the leader and quarterback. And then that's your dad. Mm. Like to me, it's just, you keep putting more pressure on your daddy mm. as the head coach. Mm. So that's why I want to ask you. Um, well, I didn't see him disrupt class. I saw him get on YouTube and the teacher. No, IG Live. No, IG Live. He was on no. IG Live clowning. My bad. <laughs> this show, we, we speak number facts on here. So you, yeah, you're wrong. We're gonna call this shout out. Me, I do live. Um, uh, look, it, it took me. It gave me a flashback to me sitting in a lecture class. Why I never fucking went because they were terribly boring. Um, did did the teacher call him out? Is that what I saw him do? No, I don't think the so. I don't. So here's what I'm understanding. Like, I didn't hear. I didn't. The first part of the video, there's no sound. So I, I just saw him go like this and like make a smirk like he got called out. Did he get called out? Nah, so, he well, would have. Somebody just... filmed it. Somebody yeah, filmed so... it and posted it. And then he took it. And so they blasted him like, oh, you're on your phone fucking around in the middle of the class or whatever. Here's a, what I found out. No. He, he's not even in that class. He's not even in the class. He has all online classes because of his celebrity status, of course. He's not he's in not, the class. Why would he be there? Yeah, he's not in the class. So it makes it even worse for me, to me, to me as a coach and a quarterback. Um, he went in this class and disrupted it or fucked around in there because what? he wanted to see, he wanted to see if he could do in do you class. actually expect me to believe this? No, I swear to God. Then, then shut the fuck up, dude. Nobody goes to a class that they're not in. Matt. I, I'm telling you, it's fast. Come, come on, dog. Matt, I, you're gonna, you should you're talk not about gonna, it. You're not going to get me on this one. Ha, 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 ha. No, 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 no. no. Nope. Everything, I've, everything I've done research on is he does not have the in. He has the class, but it's virtual. He went to the actual class in class to oh. see if okay. he could attend it in class. Oh, okay. And he's so, and so he's not take, in class. So he he's takes only the online. Class. He's only online. He's only online. So, so he went to the class for the first time in person and did but that. He, but he's in class. He's on, on online class, not in class. Yeah. Then why the fuck is he? In? I'm so confused right now. You're so, bro, me let, let, let me jump in. Let me jump in. Online classes, but he's in class. What fucking what is it? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. So all all his classes are online because of who he is. That particular class is on his schedule as an online class, but for whatever reason. He decides to physically go into that class that day. So well, maybe, 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 the, maybe the two baddies that were sitting up there that kept looking back at him were trying to run a choo-choo or something, man. I mean, he's got to go cover all ground. 
I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm waiting for the season. I really don't give a fuck. I can't. Whatever I say is fucked up. So I don't know anything. I, you know, all I do remember quarterbacks used to, the job description used to be like sit in the front row, yeah, don't yeah, get yeah, right. don't Every fuck quarterback up, ever be the was. leader, be yeah. the fucking dude, be the leader. That's hey, what, all I remember. What was your what was your grade point average in college, homie? Uh, two nine eight. Two nine. Two nine two, eight. Two nine eight. Give me the eight. Give me the eight. Two nine Give eight. Me eight. Give me the eight. Give me the eight. He said, "Hey, I earned that. I earned that." So <laughs> see, see's get degrees in the in the in the Jason Brown household because they that's what see's got degrees in my household. I didn't sit in the fucking front. That's for damn sure. I got I got A's and B's. I had a three three um, throughout Ball State. My totality. So I'm probably a little smarter than y'all. I'm but, not. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, no no I'm one knowing that. But good talk, Matt. <laughs> Matt, I, I'm not here to critique anyone's class behavior. I, I I I'm only here to critique the behavior of the class. Actually, getting the grade, I was fucking horrible. I was I was I was half ass hustled. Got got by. Did enough to get by. Yes, well, what are you talking about? I. I did not want to fucking do no work. Yeah, that's I because to... college glasses for a professional football player are fucking stupid. That he should be in online classes. I don't want you on campus ever. Yeah. And I heard about you, JB. You wasn't no just perfect student either. You was in that motherfucker, talk to the girls. You was doing all your little checking your pager. You. you was doing all types of shit too with the checking homies too. So don't act like your shit don't stink. I did my research on you. Fucking right. Yeah, yeah, fucking right. Nine one one. Hey, fucking right. Then I grew up, got hair on my nuts, and I was like, "Fuck!" I was wrong the whole time. I was an asshole. You, but you, you just grew up though. Like you, you just grew up like the last well, couple nah, of years. When you when you become a coach and leader of men, now you got to say, "Okay, now I got to." Do say not what I do. Exactly. Fucking right. Yay! When you deserve that chair, Matt, you know. Fucking hey, look, look. I I do the same thing all the time. I tell my guys to go to class. I never went to class. And that's true, y'all, but at the same time, so you can teach that, and you should teach that, of course, duh. But at the same time, don't be a big a big ass hypocrite either, JB. Don't act like don't act like what with, with, with Shador doing or whoever Colorado students, whatever they're doing, is just like some new shit we ain't seen. These motherfuckers are at practice. Uh Shiloh, the, the whistle was blown five seconds ago when Shiloh late hit this motherfucker. This is why I know this shit is out of order. This fucking shit. Coach, Coach Coach JB has taken over the moniker for the biggest hater of Colorado football online. Easy. Yeah, I don't. I don't get how hating is. You don't. Like, you don't know how. No. Let's do a replay of the last couple of weeks, and I'll tell hey, you Matt, how. <laughs> Matt, I don't get when you all of a sudden an opinion has become a hate. I'm hey, trying well, to say, Matt. Well, Matt, you got a million opinions, Matt. You got a million well, opinions. I don't call you a hater, Matt. I don't call you a hater, Matt. When you hey, got a million hey, opinions, I I usually don't call you a hater, but it, this one I got to go on the hater stats. That's because you're an alum. You have to. It's okay. I love you. Well, I'm not an alum, and, and, you're, and, I, and I'm saying you're a hater as well because I've again, talked a ton of shit on CU and on this show, and I went on Woodlock. No, I know. I'm talking I, about. I, I actually have an opinion that goes both ways. Yeah. There you go. Matt is balanced. That's the thing. I swear to God, man. I, if we have to, we don't have the time to do it. If we went back to the last fifty times we talked about Colorado, I guarantee you, fifty and zero. On JB side, as far as negative shit, there's nothing positive. Matt, 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 I got receipts, Matt, and I broke it down yesterday, and I fucking murdered the chat. I murdered the naysayers. I murdered the fucking content. We got yeah, we got I got analytics. all the receipts. I got all the receipts. Let me break it down why I got the receipts. So when I sent Derek Abrams to Colorado, plus Jamar, <laughs> plus plus Ch- Chance Main, guess what they did? No. You got to read Cape Cod Phil's fucking comment, dog. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, I can't read the comments because I'm on my – Matt, I can't see nothing, Matt, because I'm on my phone. He said uh, Sh- Shador failed reading defenses one-on-one. That's <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. That's some funny shit, though. All right, Matt. That's some, good, that's some good locker room shit right there. That's good. All right, Matt. Let me ask you this. On this show, yes, before, coach. B- before you came on with me even three years ago, uh, I've oh, had man, Derek Abrams. Long. I've had Derek Abrams, Jamar, Chance Main. I've had guys up there, right? Way to get paid for this shit. I know. No shit, huh? It's been a long time. So, oh, hey, fucking kudos to you. Hopefully, we can get winnable cracking. So, yeah. I got to ask you. 
I came on and was like, oh, fuck, Coach Mack has done the greatest job in college football with this Colorado program winning 10 games. And I came on my show talking about it. Plus, I used to go up there with Darian, and I used to see my players. So I knew what the inner house. I've known Mack a long time, did a good job. Then he had a couple of down years. So I said, why then was I, when he got fired, I said, well, fuck, he deserves another year in my opinion. I was now telling the truth when I talked about them winning 10 games, winning the Pac-12 South in 16 or whatever, I think 16, 17, whatever year that was. And then 2016. All right. So then I was talking about that and I was like, oh, fuck. Okay. But then I talked about, then they go and get Darrell. I mentioned it on the show. I said, I thought it was a horrible hire. I said, and then, and then the guy leaves seemingly overnight, leaving the program in a kind of a fucked up deal after telling my friend Darian and other people that he would be back, we're back, we're coming back, blue. Darian goes to work the next morning, his office is fucking ghost, and he's at Michigan State. So that's a huge setback for a program, in my opinion, that fucked them. So then he leaves. They hire Chev, our boy, goes to interim head coach. They've had a bunch of fucking ups and downs over the last, let's say, seven to eight years. I was a truth teller then, but now I'm a hater when I give my opinion on what's going on there with Dion and the staff. Make it make sense. How? I, I, I say the opinion I have both ways, and I've called it both ways. Until it became Dion specifically, I'm a hater because the popularity that he possesses, the money he brought in. The bottom line is Colorado has been a four to five win program. Over the last 12 years, since 2012, they're pretty much par for course is what Dion did last year, winning four games. What we blow out of proportion is, is because the shitty year you and I have talked about on this show, Matt, for two years now with the Carl Burrell hire, when you had to go motivate the fucking team for Mike Stanford, and, when they, and you won the game, because I believe Matt's fucking motivation actually helped. Why are we magnifying four wins over a one win team that's it that's why because we won four games from one it's a three game jump but in theory 12 12 years in a row you've been a four win franchise organization so i am a hater when i say that i want to see more of a body of work and i hope dion don't leave when his kids leave because it would set them back similarly to what happened with uh with what's the name going to michigan state so that's all I'm saying. Why is that hate? It's an opinion. Well, if, if you would have said it like that initially, then you would have probably not had all these fucking people hating on you. you Thank know? you, bro. Thank, Thank you, Matt. Come I mean, on, If you would have just come out I right off the bat. I don't want to say it that way. I know you don't want to say it like that, but now after a month and a half of fucking just regurgitating... <laughs> And doing that now you've like now you come now you're like in an alcoholic haze and you're like fucking I'm thinking clearly and you're like I'm gonna I'm gonna articulate this point fucking perfectly bro, bro that was perfect you just spit it out like you outlined all your points you fucking bullet pointed them you were like you went from here to here back to here it was perfect the synergy was excellent and you, that was if you would have just said it like that motherfucker you might have convinced me shit. But instead, Matt, how does how does he really say it though? No, this no, no. Can't play. He sucks. He's gone. This one's terrible. They all the they're all clap chasing. They're all the fucking the fucking TV shows and media shows and jewelry and cyber trucks and bitches. why the fuck is the door walking with the head coach after the fucking game on the phone of the field? He got fucking phones out in class and wieners against the glass at the hilarity club. This is why they can't win shit. They'll never win shit. Dion is on the class of the hilarity club. Dion's not a real fucking coach. And I can say that because we're fucking friends. What if Dion hates me? Why is he fucking DM me and message me to this day and tell him I'm telling the fucking I've truth? That. I've done that too, though. I can't I can't hate on JB. I've done that too. So hold on. So, what do I do the other me? <laughs> hey, so let me ask you. All that being said. What's the difference when I say they're still shitty? It's the same fucking thing. Ah, they, they, they were they were shitty record perspective, but they were a lot better than they were the year before. Thank hey, you. Hey, Ben, can you show the Arkansas guys video? <laughs> can you Constance show that guy so, I, so Matt knows I'm not just hated on one spectrum. I'm hated from every angle right now. Matt, apparently I cannot talk about any franchise, any organization, any university without somebody being very upset at me. 
What'd you do? This message is for the real coach, JB. Whatever the fuck your stupid ass name is. You suck. Oh, the last chance you? I think the only thing that needs a last chance is that big old nose of yours. Hey, Coach JB, you obviously weren't good enough to coach a real team. Yeah. You're sitting there coaching people that are on their last legs. If there's anybody that's a meat riding bitch, it's you. <laughs> Because you weren't good enough to coach a real team. You weren't good enough to coach a college team. You're coaching people that are on their last chance. <laughs> Shout out random guy in the background here. Um, listen. <laughs> if anybody's a bitch, it's you. I'm not saying, hey, let's make a deal. I'm telling you this is the deal. Point my finger in your face and twirling it around. Arkansas gonna own you. <coughs> so let me explain something to you, the real coach, JB. Go ahead and stick your ass to football because you're barely getting by at that. Ooh, sick. You ain't nothing but a big nose bitch. <laughs> you got boogers all in there. You got nasal hairs. You probably can't breathe at night. I think you need to get a. I think you need to get a snoring machine, Coach JB. Or better yet, go to Walgreens. Use promo code D's because these nuts are about to drop on your face, and get you some Navage to get that big old nose of yours down. Wow. Well, we know why uh, there's so many single women in fucking Arkansas. <laughs> Holy well, his father, man. his father confirmed. His father is also his brother. Make that make sense? Who's also his uncle? Who's Futurama, also his, he has, you know, one eye. Who's also his <laughs> grand sister? <laughs> <laughs>